my first hello. You can hear our voices. Yo! You can see our faces. And what up, video. world? Amazing. <laughs> Welcome to our stream. We, we are streaming Zwei, Ilbert Insurrection. It is truly extreme. Indeed. I scream, you scream, we all scream for Zwei stream. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So, how's everybody doing today? Woo! So, yeah, we showed this at E3, and uh, it got a really amazing response, actually. The whole three days, I don't think we had, like, a moment's rest. No. Just constant people playing this game. Yes. We had a rest. <laughs> so, that was really cool to see. I'm really glad, because this game deserves uh, a lot more attention than, uh, you know, and maybe it's been getting before, so... Which is mine. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's very cool to see. This is one of my favorite Falcon games. Uh, yeah, so this is this is a, a, just a bit of a demo of it. Uh, we chose this section because of something that's going to happen at the end of it, which is not really a spoiler, but just an, an example of this game since. Yes, it's it's pretty special. I think there might still be part of it that you said was in Japanese. Okay. okay. But yeah, we'll find out together. Yeah. All this exciting. This is stream. this is still not the final version of the game. The game is still. I mean, it's coming out this summer, but not you know like next week or anything like that. It's coming out later this summer. So it's uh, definitely a ways away. There's still a lot of QA and things to be done before it's totally ready. So there is still some Japanese left over and everything, but obviously that'll be fixed. Uh, the final version. So if you see any of that in the stream, just ignore it. Pretend it didn't happen. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, um, game is coming along really nicely though, and I still think this is one of like the nicest looking free games in yeah. Falcom's uh, entire library, honestly. It, it, the graphics have held up really well because they went for the sort of cel shaded art style instead of just trying to make it look more realistic. So. Yeah. In time, it has paid off. Yep. And uh, you may notice, uh, right now, uh, Nick is playing as Ragna Valentine. You can actually switch back and forth between Ragna and Alwyn. Uh, it's Ragna Valentine, the treasure hunter, and Alwyn de Moonbria, the vampire princess. Um, Ragna is the physical fighter, and Alwyn uses magic. Um, Uh-oh. We got a... Yep, that was a sudden crash. <laughs> well... Suddenly, I forgot to equip my poison. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, let me max out this. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's loading now, so it should okay. be okay. Just tell me when this game's on screen. <laughs> it is. It is currently. It's now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a bug right now with poison where poison crashes the game. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, that that will of course also be fixed, so don't worry. And me, but, yeah. I forgot to equip my anti-poison accessory like a fool. <laughs> don't forget to equip your accessories, kids. Yes. <laughs> Though it hopefully won't be a matter of like crashing or not crashing uh, in the final version. Yes. <laughs> um, you don't think you'd have that good. Yeah, that, that would not be good. Um, but yeah, uh, so Ragna right now, uh, he actually has a weapon equipped that's pretty cool. It can grab onto enemies and like hold them and then throw them at other enemies, uh, which uh, is super fun. Take that. Uh, there are a bunch of other weapons he gets throughout the game that are really neat. Uh, my, one of my other favorites is one that uh, he gets later on. We showed it a little bit at E3. We might be able to show it later from another save game as well. But it's basically an airplane that he's wearing on his like arm. And he can just like ride it if he wants. You can like just sort of like board. ride it around like a hoverboard and just ram into things. Yeah, it's my favorite weapon in the game. I had one person at E3 who completed an entire stage mostly atop that. Yeah, <laughs> you totally can, and it's super fun to do it because there's no limit to how long you can ride it either, which yeah. is great. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we'll, we have saved it. That. <laughs> yeah, we got the time. Like, yeah, shouldn't take more than like 15 yeah, minutes uh, to get through this. That is the other thing is showing this game is tricky. It is a full, full-on RPG with towns and NPCs and side quests and a really like complex uh, linear plot line. Basically, standard JRPG stuff outside of the dungeons. But I mean, that's not really something we want to show on a stream because you know spoilers for one thing. 
or just you know a lot of like yeah. dialogue. I mean, scenes. I like the story, and I would like to show you the beginning of the story. But if I did, it would just be like us sitting here talking while you watch the cutscene. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Though the opening cutscene is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, it's got like yeah. it's got Ragna Valentine in a biplane engaged in a dog fight with a cat riding a dragon. I mean, <laughs> yes. How how can you go wrong? It starts with a bang, I'll give it that. Yeah. This, this is probably my favorite intro of any Falcon game, just because of that. Because it's like... They don't mess. Yeah. You, you know what you're getting into right away with this one. So, it's pretty pretty super cool. What's following you? Oh, yes. There's a pet system in the game as well. Um, right now, it's a little chick that is uh, dropping exploding eggs on our behalf. Or bombs that will also hurt us. Yeah, exploding eggs don't. So that's nice. I just like to take a pet that poops on the map. <laughs> yes. Uh, there are other pets, though. There's, uh, I guess, the... Is it the dog that shoots lasers or the yes, cat? Yes, the dog shoots lasers. The cat just runs into things with its face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> paw to paw combat. And then later on, there are okay. other uh, pets as well. My personal favorite is probably the pet robot, because it's a pet robot. Um, but yeah, there's also like a fairy and a kobold and surprise pets as well. So, uh, this pet system is just the, the, the dry to your zwei, is the third member of your party. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the pets do level up as well. I believe that is the max level form of the chick right now. I believe it is, yep. because you need to, like... We do need a capybara in the future. We're gonna see if we do that, so we get one in here. That'd be kind of amazing. <laughs> I mean, they, it's surprising there isn't one, considering all the other pets. I mean, yeah. fairy, kobold, robot, it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luchador. They are. <laughs> I, I believe that's uh, not what they're called in the English version, yes. right? <laughs> these, these are the famous burning roosters that have been renamed to Flaming Cock. <laughs> This is the game for that kind of localization, yes. by the way. This game is oh, very. Shit. Oh, I hey. forgot to heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rip. <laughs> well, I get through this, but. But yeah, uh, speaking of healing yourself, that's a good segue into one of the, the cool aspects of this game's uh, like actual uh, gameplay. Um, you'll notice on the top right of the screen, I'm pointing to the screen, but you guys can't really see that, but on the top right of the screen, there are uh, food items in a, in a, basically in a big row there. It's sort of a hotkey system. Um, you can also, if you're using a controller, hold like R1 and then select an item and then use it. Um, but yeah, the uh, food items are the only way you gain experience in this game. Um, you do not gain experience by killing enemies, you only gain experience by eating the food items that they drop. Um, which is also how you heal. Um, and you can either just eat food as soon as you get it and just gain experience that way, eat it as you need it and kind of stay low level, or try to save up your food. Guys, the What's up? localized name for our beast is Flying by Twitch. <laughs> is what? Flying by Twitch. <laughs> for the chicken. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> wow, that's pretty funny. Well, I, I guess that's cool. Yeah, that that shows you we're we're not afraid to go there. We were never afraid to go yeah. there, and sometimes that was the problem. <laughs> Don't forget to heal. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, the food items. You can eat them right away and gain experience, or you can save them up. If you save up ten of any one type of food, you can take it into town and exchange it for one of a type of food that gives 150% as much experience. Which sounds kind of weirdly technical, but as an example, cheese. I believe cheese gives you ten experience? Yeah. Cheese and pizza was the one I used yeah. to eat. Yeah, which makes the most sense. Uh, cheese gives you ten experience when you eat it, but if you save up 10 pieces of cheese, you can exchange them for one pizza, which gives you 150 experience. So, you actually gain more by not eating your cheese right away and saving it up. Um, and that doesn't sound like a huge difference at this early stage of the game, but later on, 
the thing I actually was checking in the strategy guide earlier just to make sure I was accurate here. <laughs> Later on, you do get food items that give you tens of thousands of experience. Oh, yeah. And, you know, once you're dealing with those immense numbers, um, oh, then, yeah. Speaker. Yeah, then, you know, if, you, if you're eating a food item that gives you, like, 25,000 experience, and you're saving up 10 of those and gaining 150% of what you'd get otherwise, that's a lot of extra experience right there. And yeah. that's sort of what the game counts on you doing. Um, it's sort of balanced around that. But each dungeon floor has a level plate in front of it that actually shows you the recommended level for the dungeon. Um, and you can choose to uh, tackle the level, like, or tackle the dungeon at a lower level if you want. Um, theoretically, you can actually beat this game at level one if you're like a total badass. None of us are. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is a thing, um, and uh, I believe we were cruel enough to include an achievement for that. Right? No. Oh, we weren't. Okay. Thanks, you I thought we were. Oh, that's a shame. I'm not that. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. There are four levels of upgrade for each item, and they all heal. Kind of, <laughs> they all kind of have categories to them. Like heal again. <laughs> Why is this wrecking my face? <laughs> this is the big fun. Sorry, Twitch. Oh, heal. <laughs> Pizza is pizza's good. Can you save anywhere anytime? Yeah, uh, no. no. No, there are actual save points, which... I love that the save points in this game are just, like, tables with a red tablecloth and an umbrella. It's just, you know, the, it's the break table. Yeah. And there's yeah. just break tables in the middle of, like, volcanic dungeons and things. It's like, whatever. It's like, oh, oh there's a nice... Nice table with a red tablecloth and an umbrella. Cool. I, tur I turned the wind back on so he wouldn't attack me, but now he's flying through the corridors. <laughs> oh, oh, you're catching up to him. Yeah! Oh God, oh no. I'm beating this cop. Yo, switch to Alwyn. She can do range attacks. That's right. Shoot him down. Oh, no. <laughs> he's too fast for even your magic. Oh, you get him. Get him. I don't think that I am. Maybe if he gets some, some, some cat, uh, dog waves in here. Even my chicken ain't doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> chicken can't hurt keep one up. of his own. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's the we, other... We could. One of the other things. I guess probably after this yeah. battle. <laughs> But yeah, this game also has a bunch of widgets, uh, which the mini-map, for example, that you see on the screen right now is an equipable widget. Um, widgets are just UI elements that you can add to the game. There's one that, like, is a camera that will just show alternate views of your characters running for some reason. There's one that will show, like, how much you weigh, <laughs> like your character weighs, which is used to solve a puzzle at one point. Um, yeah. And there are, yeah, there's like, a, I think a clock widget too, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, this game came out at a time when... No, even even when it came out, like, you would be able to just go out to your desktop and see what the time was on your system clock. I'm yeah. like, why does this exist? <laughs> it's just for fun. I, I think my favorite widget story actually is the math widget. Oh, no. There's, there's a widget that will just have math problems show up on your UI, and if you, like, use the numeric keypad, you can answer them, and it will add one to your current combo. And, like, while Nick was testing the game, he had the math widget on, and one of our other co-workers at the time, Chris, was just answering math problems on the numeric keypad while Nick was playing on his gamepad. <laughs> and, like, Nick had, like, a 600 combo yeah, going like, or it something. Like, it, so, it, like, it keeps <laughs> your combo so you don't drop it between groups of enemies, so you go through, like, half a dungeon with math. <laughs> and just keep up, like, a 600-hit like combo as well. It's like the unofficial two-player mode of this game is, is you know, one, one person plays, the other does math. So, it's... it's Stupid, say, but amazing. Say awesome. no to maths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, 
There's the one boss battle with all the explosions. As well. It's all of them. Well, it's extreme. Yes. Yeah, this game does have some pretty cool boss battles, too. Very East-like in a lot of ways. Uh, I mean, in general, you can probably tell the combat is fast and frenetic, kind of like East. Um, it's a little more chaotic. Uh, there's a lot more going on on the screen at once, and there is a certain, uh, a certain degree of success you can have with button mashing, but like that me. sort of makes it, like... <laughs> Kind of fun because all of a sudden you'll just be surrounded by monsters and just be like, ah! And it's just like I don't know. It's very satisfying when you actually like successfully ram through them all. Unfortunately, there are cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah. But Well, if you if you are truly not just a wizard but a math wizard. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Also, yeah, I guess uh, uh, Nick has been using a few of them, but there are Arcanum techniques as well, which uh, are achieved by getting combos. You'll notice underneath the life hearts, there are the little uh, snowflake patterns there. Those are, uh, yeah, those are the Arcanum that are built up by getting combos. This room just never ends. And when you... Uh, <laughs> I will throw my pocket. <laughs> When you uh, use one of the Arcanum, it just does sort of a, almost a screen clearing kind of move. Yeah, and your Ar the Arcanums are of a different type depending on. Oh, I just ate enough food to level up. Which is what happens when you're under leveled, you take a lot of damage, and you use food to heal frequently. It sort of helps you balance it out. Yep. As you noticed, I've been picking up some food as I've been fighting. I got like a, I believe a seven herb porridge and a dorayaki. Also you'll note the uh, money in this game is just straight up yen. Like it's just, it's <laughs> Japanese yen. They, it's called penne I believe, but yes. uh, yeah they, uh, they they just didn't hide the fact that it's just basically yen. Yeah. Which I, I kind of love. <laughs> um, so somebody asked Nestor the Lark, does the second hero do anything while you're not controlling them or do they they, they just follow you around, but you can switch at any time for any reason. Yeah. In fact, you don't even have to necessarily switch. There are two gameplay modes. Um, the one that I actually prefer is one where one button is mapped to Ragna's attacks, the other button is mapped to Alwyn's magic. So when you press the Alwyn's magic button, it will just immediately switch and Alwyn will start shooting her magic. When you press Alwyn's attack button, it'll immediately switch and Alwyn will start, or Ragnar will start using his weapon. Um, you can either go that route or the one that uh, Nick is using right now, which is one button just switches characters and the other uses that character's attack. Well, it feels more like a party game than the other one. Like a single player sort of thing. Oh, uh, right into the ropes! Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there are. There, there's, a ma there's a maid in this light bulb. <laughs> there is indeed a maid in the light bulb. Wow. What happened when I turn it on? I mean, you've, you've... It's not the first day I turned on. That is just gonna, I was going to make that joke. You beat me to it. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> this, by the way, in case you couldn't tell, this is the fire dungeon. Uh, this is our own steel tower. Alright. Um, that... I don't think I have. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, at, at E3 we had already gotten all the slot machines, so no one was able to uh, see this. Oh! But it's food, food slot machines. Yes, yeah, you stop. You try to stop it. The higher the number, the better the food you get and more of it. But it is a slot machine for free food. So go through a level. You're never going to be without food for what comes next because you'll always get some. Is this game like Elements likes to do next? Sort of. Um, there are definitely, like you may have noticed toward the beginning of this, uh, Nick used uh, one of Alwyn's spells to break some pillars that allowed him to access this particular dungeon floor. There are a lot of things like that where uh, the weapons you get for Ragnar or the spells you get for Alwyn allow you to access parts yeah. of the game that you could It's not like it. a core element to the game as it would be in a Metroidvania. It's more like... Ah, oh, you know, I just noticed that I can't access this, but if I come back later with this thing that obviously burns down these yeah. bushes, then I can get past. In a way, it's a little more Zelda than Metroidvania, yeah. I'd say. 
Especially with like all the rooms where kill all the monsters and the door unlocks. It's yeah. it has a lot of like Zelda elements to the dungeon and yeah. exploring. One interesting thing before we go to the next scene is like the magic system. You know, every time you change your magic, the Arcanum symbol changes to the symbol of that element. And the magics are not all just the same. It's not like here's blessed earth, here's blessed fire, here's blessed water. Like this is the earth technique. It's four lines across the floor. This doesn't hit flying creatures at all, obviously, because it's on the ground. But it's really good for clearing out a bunch of smaller enemies, especially if they try to mob you. My favorite, actually, of the ones you have right now is fire. Because oh. fire is, uh, it, it's like guided, it moves with yeah. you. Fire is, really is cool. fire homes in on enemies, which is really nice. Like, I actually like wind a lot, because with wind element, you can... Like, I can't... There's no enemy here to show Oh, yeah, the right enemies get sucked in. Enemies it. will get sucked in and lifted up, so they kind of get stun-locked. So you can keep enemies, you know, swirling around forever in a couple of these and switch to Ragda and just, like, wail on them and get some free hits in. Later in the game, though, the very last spell you get, Darkness, is my favorite, because it's yeah. just giant dark hands yeah. that you just <laughs> use to slap half the screen. Yeah. It's Are fantastic. you ready for this exciting oh, yes. scene? This is this is a, a good example of the game's sense of humor. Oh, no. As as we noted, there is still some Japanese, so just ignore ignore the Japanese. Or if you read it, if you or, read yeah. Japanese, go for it. We won't Super. Ban you from that. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, I know I know this has been translated. I'm, yeah. I don't know why it's not uh, Me too. in here, but uh, yeah. The dialogue is kind of unimportant anyway. It's more uh, its more what is about to happen that uh, really it goes beyond words. Can you rotate the camera in dungeons or in town? Or is this no, 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 fixed, fixed. camera. <laughs> because of the isometric perspective, we had a lot of people ask if it was actually a sort of like a roguelike with randomly generated dungeons. But no, they are all pre-planned. Yep. Which I prefer anyway myself. Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. Some design in there. <laughs> this is how you learn new arcana. <laughs> like, wow. you exercise with him. Yup. With this man. His name is Galando. And uh, he just sort of shows up in dungeons. He has a coliseum that he runs um, inside one of the dungeons. He is a luchador. Yep. He's the best. <laughs> There's all kinds of great. Uh, Are you two going to learn? Dance. Yeah, we have totally, <laughs> totally should. Although I think the rolls might make it a little more difficult. Yeah, I would just like roll, but then I would never get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if anybody caught that earlier, but yeah, this is how you learn One, new arcana, which are the combo two, techniques that Ragda Owen has. Yep. Every time you learn a new arcanum, this is this is how you do it. <laughs> he will give you a scroll at the end. <laughs> so in reality, it had nothing to do with the dance. <laughs> he just wanted to make you do that. Alan kind of looks like she's enjoying it. Actually. Yeah, she's, she's enjoying it. Before she regains herself at the end, and yeah. just like, is full of disgust again. Until then, she feels the rhythm. <laughs> we can't look away either in complete brain claw. Yeah, wow, this is completely in Japanese. I'm ashamed. I mean, that's not you. I, I know this is translated. I've seen the translation. Yeah. So. But yeah, I don't know what's uh, what's going on there. But again, never you mind. This will be in English when you guys play it, we swear. In fact, <laughs> we're keep, think of it as keeping the surprise yeah, safe. That's yeah. right. Actual you have no that. idea what's being said unless you can read Japanese. It's really goofy, though. Then you do. <laughs> Yeah, we should jump ahead yeah, to sure the uh, yeah. like to end game save, show After off uh, Alwyn's dark magic and uh, Ragna's glide gear. And also, although it is uh, Ragna and Alwyn are the main characters of this game, they are not the only two characters you yes. get to play. Uh, there there are, are swap outs, yeah, as there. as determined by the story. Yeah. All right, so. And what's pretty cool is um, on the menu, you'll see it says R and A for Ragna and Alwyn, but whenever there's a swap out, there's like a little post-it note put over like <laughs> the letter for their... Cute. Yeah. So they, Depending they on it. who the character yeah. is, it's like styled it like right there yeah. in the corner. It's pretty good stuff. 
The game has a lot of little, cute little details, and I guess the uh, basic plot of the game is... Uh, so, Ragna is a biplane pilot delivery man by day, but he's sort of a treasure hunter by night. He's delivering goods to uh, Arte, or uh, not to Arte specifically, but to Someone this uh, continent, Ilverd. Um, and, uh, Arte is the main town. Yeah, Arte is the town that we're in right now. Um, but yeah, he's delivering things to Ilverd, and uh, all of a sudden he's attacked by a cat riding a dragon. Um, and also a, like, hooded girl riding a dragon, and, uh, he's easily able, he basically kicks the crap out of the cat, uh, mm -hmm. very easily. I mean, cat's fine, but nonetheless, it's like, you know, he's got the cat on the ropes, basically. It's a really annoying cat person, so Yes. That's okay. But yeah, uh, the cat calls in, uh, the hooded girl, and he's about to basically, like, defeat the hooded girl as well, but he sort of catches sight of her and, like hesitates for a moment, because I guess she looks a little familiar to him, maybe. Um, and that's the only... Yeah, there that's you go. Why, that's what distracts him. But, uh, yeah, that's... In that in that moment, um, bit more or less, like, you know, that's that's his downfall. His uh, engine catches on fire, and he comes in for a uh, really, really hot crash landing on over... Basically, more or less dies in the <laughs> crash, yeah. but... Alwyn, uh, the vampire princess Alwyn sees this happen and decides, I might be able to use this guy. So she sort of resurrects him and initially wants to make him sort of her uh, servant to help her retake her castle from uh, sort of another vampire that sort of usurped it from her. Um, but uh, he agrees to help out anyway, but as her equal. So they basically are equal partners trying to retake her castle, because he's always up for a good adventure anyway, and she needs some help, and, you know, she doesn't know much about the modern world. She hasn't really been out for about a hundred years, so, yeah. so there's uh, some good stuff. This is her castle, by the way, yeah. the castle that you're trying to retake. So Silly Mel is asking, how long is this game? It's pretty long. Um, I'd say you could get at least 30 hours out of this. I would say, I would put the average playtime around 30 hours. Yeah. Here you can see I have chosen the dog pet. <laughs> Look at how he bounds. <laughs> Look and at how he shoots out blue fireballs. <laughs> uh, and yes, this is where you have the uh, evil robot maids, right? That's right. Good old evil many, robot maids. Many, an E3 player enjoyed the robot maids who bow to you before they attack. Yeah. <laughs> and Alwyn can use her darkness magic in the save. Which is, again, my favorite. Just slaps. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, way the magic works, by the way. Oh, yeah, this is, this is the... Uh, In fact, you know that they will bow to you first. Because indeed. that's what the maid commandments say. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, signs like that will often have uh, clues to uh, floor puzzles for the dungeon as well. I believe there is one on this floor, in fact. That dog attacked her unprovoked. You'll have to put it down. Don't say such a thing! <laughs> That's mean. Um, <laughs> but, uh... What was I even saying? I don't know. <laughs> Brain. Oh yes, there's the glide gear in action. Like, Woo! yo guys! Woo! I'm super cool with the 90s! There is, there is literally no limit to how long you can stay on this either. And, uh... Really, the only limit is the fact that you are still technically vulnerable. Although... Yeah, you can still take damage. Like, I'm not here because we're overleveled for this area. But, like, enemies will still wail on you if you're, like, same level. Yeah. So, be judicious. And again, for the person asking about, like, Metroidvania elements and things, there is, uh... The dungeon where you get this weapon actually does have sections of the floor that are basically made of glass. And the second you step on them, they shatter. And... You know, you would just basically fall to your doom unless you were riding this, in which case you can, like, ride right over the glass. And that's, like, how you get through those sections, is using this glide gear. That's music. Um. Yes. Okay. Tom, talking about Falcom music? Why? Well, yeah. I think we know our audience. Yeah, I mean, this uh, this game does have a pretty solid soundtrack. Uh, it's got uh, Kanako Koteta doing uh, the vocal theme. Um, as sort of the, yeah, she's sort of the go-to vocalist for a lot of Falcom vocal themes, and this one I think is a pretty good one. Um, there are also recurring themes. The I believe the song you're hearing right now is actually, like, 
an arrangement of that vocal theme. Yeah, I like this song. Yeah, it's one lot. of my favorites. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty solid soundtrack overall. Uh, again, has a really, uh, really good like central town theme. I think. Um, I've, I, I don't think the version you heard is the main version because I think at this point in the story they changed the town theme for like dramatic impact. But uh, the main town theme is uh, really catchy. I think. So yeah. All right, I got a pizza from a treasure oh, chest. Yeah. Me too. And yes, that is the uh, clue to the puzzle right there. <laughs> I remember. That'd be kind of awesome. Yeah. Well, I've always said like a video oh, game themed. A always said like a video game themed restaurant would be really cool that would serve like you know the Castlevania style pot roast which comes encased in brick. You have to like, whip the brick open in order to get to it. Seems like a little too much. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd buy it. Of course. <laughs> And yeah, the in case you couldn't tell, uh, those empty treasure chests that are all open, that's the puzzle here. You need to keep a tidy house, so you need to make right. sure that you close all these treasure chests, leaving them Look open. At these like, what, what, what do we live in a barn? Who stole Alwyn's castle, and they just, like, trashed the place, and now there's, like, cups everywhere, and they left every treasure chest open. <laughs> yep. We had a party. <laughs> it was pretty bad. All the, all the bases are broken. Oh no, it's the rebel kobold with his katana and his trench coat. The bold ko, I believe. <laughs> That's right. right. Yes. Look at him trying to attack me like the edgelord he is. <laughs> back, edgelord, back. I will throw him into the, the jaws of death. Ah. With, with, a giant, death. with a giant mimic. Ah. <laughs> attack him, dog. This is uh, not just one giant mimic either, as you're about to see. This is uh, taking some Matryoshka keys. Oh. <laughs> These guys have names like Pothead and Jarhead. <laughs> yeah. As you can probably tell, there is a certain sense of humor to this yeah. game. That uh, there's a sense of humor and a certain degree of just utter ridiculousness now to the a really plot. Tiny one chasing me. <laughs> but yeah, I I love the fact that this game's story, on paper, sounds like utterly stupid, but in practice is amazing. Like it's very well done, very well written. It's just the things that happen are just weird and stupid and amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of refreshing. It has sort of that almost Slayer style, like Maybe 90s fantasy yeah. humor. Or some, some of the arcana. We can. Yeah. yeah, you don't have the darkness one yet, right? Or the light. Not in this file. But. Oh, I missed a box somewhere. Oh no! But where? I thought I closed them all. I don't that one. Oh, there you go. That would do it. I got this stupid suit of mine. Who is standing there? Hey, what's going on? This is the Earth Arcana. Oh. I, I think that suit of armor is stuck anyway. They can do a combined. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah. It's like a double tech that uses both of their power. I, I particularly like this. What wrestle made today? Yep. Make men. I mean... Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like it on the tin. <laughs> <laughs> There's no false advertising in this game. <laughs> my dog chugged through the mud. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, this game is super fun. It's it really it like it came out in Japan at a time when like PC games were not really selling well in Japan. So it yeah, kind of went 2008. Yeah. So it's like almost 10 years now. 
kind of flew under the radar when it came out, but I really think it uh, deserves to be uh, played because it's just it's such a great game. It's a lot of fun. It's nice and long. Has a lot of a lot of like uh, extra stuff in it. Like there's a snowboarding mini game as well because of course there is. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of fun little stuff in this that uh, it's just very charming. The fire icon. Like a dragon messing them up. Explode into coins! <laughs> the other cool thing about the dog, because we're all pets, is that they actually pick up stuff for you so you don't have to. That is very useful. The benefit too. of all pets here. Pizza in a barrel! The wind one creates like a wind barrier around them. Okay, I can So like it follows them and just kind of like... Oh. Get wrecked. I don't think I've seen that one for a, a long time, so that's pretty neat actually. Yeah, I like that one. Wind is like not the most damaging spell, but it's like I love the utility and crowd control it's got on it. Yeah, I do like that each spell sort of has its purpose. It's kind of neat. Like, here, here's wind. It's like, are these guys gonna hurt me? No, because I got them spinning right around, baby, right around. <laughs> Even this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's incredibly effective. Die, <laughs> die forever. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is, like, aside from the actual dungeon crawling in this game, um, the townsfolk are very, like, Trails series esque, where over the course of the game, at all times, every townsperson is doing something. And their dialogue changes a lot, and uh, they often will travel to, like, other towns, or, you know, you might find them in dungeons even at certain points, because they decided they wanted to visit the dungeons. The ice Archon just freezes the people for a long time, and you can just kind of That is also very useful. That's your high effective. But yeah, I, I love that, uh, like there's uh, an NPC notebook in this game. Yeah, that's what was happening at E3 because we had already gotten that yeah. slot machine. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a NPC notebook that will allow you to record individual facts that you learn about each NPC. And that I know we do have an achievement mm -hmm. for co uh, completing. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot. Oh, there's the uh, save points that I was talking about. Yeah. Interesting areas. Did yeah. you want to um, show the uh, widgets? Oh yeah. This yeah. is a good time. So, widgets are basically these little devices that you can collect that put things on your screen. Here's a math game. Here's a, a pedometer. <laughs> Here is a scale. Now, uh, we'll go out and see those. Now you can see them on the side of the screen. Yeah, the the math, math game. Oh Math is my worst topic in school, so I'm gonna leave that to you, Tom. <laughs> That's why I'm localizing games. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this combo. Hot. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I need to move the uh, so we can see the combos. One. There you go. You can see, this is math combos. Did you guys ever yeah. do, like the a bunch of? No. Math no crap. No, no, no it's why it's why we're English majors. <laughs> Look at us fail at math. Well, that was mostly just because I don't use a numeric keypad very often. I guess I can use these numbers. Whoa, sixty-three divided by nine. That's oh no, six. they've gotten harder. Is that seven? Seven. Okay. Well, that's you're dropping my combo. I know. <laughs> Chris made me get 600. What are you doing? <laughs> Will there be options to change the unit on the scale? I don't think so. I think it's going to probably It is stay stuck at kilograms. Unfortunately, yeah. it's kilos forever, so yeah. all of us in the U.S. will just have to look at it and go what? Just, and have, like, a Google <laughs> conversion app open as well or something. Oh, uh, if you can go back into the menu, uh, turn on the, uh, the screen app. I love the screen app because it's just so, like, why does this exist? It's great. It's the finest in Ilvardian reality television. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, if you want to see some dynamic camera angles of your characters as they run, there you go. 
It's even got like little like blur effects and everything. It's like, oh yeah. It's like, <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> it's it's and it's got like the color shifting background too yeah. because it's like. It's like panning around. Yeah. It's super cool. <laughs> Even when I'm not doing anything, it still rotates in the room. Look at that outfit. Yeah. Player, full 360 vision. <laughs> Look at her little cardboard cat thing on the side. Yup. I don't know what it is. Those, those cardboard cat things are awesome. <laughs> the outfits in this game are the greatest. There's a character, Ra Lyra, whose outfit is the greatest outfit ever. No, uh, I feel like she's wearing a bunch of carpets. Now we have to go see her. <laughs> yes. You can't she, just say that. And she just... also has like a little Halloween ghost on her hat, which I love. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you have that? Oh, there's a level plate, by example. Yeah. Um, I believe there's an item you can use to change that? Or... Yeah, yeah. There's something you can get from Galando if you beat enough of the challenges in the Coliseum. It will up-level a lot of the level plates when you use it at a level plate and you can fight max level versions of the dungeons that are way harder and they drop better stuff. Also, this is where a boss was fought. Yes. There's, there's a big story scene in a boss fought. It was really cool. You should have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and you will! Someday! <laughs> yeah, you can refight enemies in, in the arena. <laughs> Let's go see the Witch Ra Lyra. Is she in the woods, or is she in the She's house in the at this point? You know, I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. You can see her kooky house. <laughs> so really pretty. Yeah, I like this. This is the Gloomgeld Woods. Because part of it is gloomy, and part of it is golden. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's probably... Same yep. <laughs> oh, that is uh, Alwyn's fairy servant, Rue. Um, she plays a pretty major role in the story, but only really shows up in uh, story scenes. She doesn't help out in uh, the dungeons or anything. Okay, I, know, I think I know where she is. She's not at home. I think she'd just be in the town, right? In Arte? I think she's at the airstrip. Oh, is she? It's been a while since I've like actually fully played through this game and not just played parts yeah. of it. Selena asks, so there's a bonus dungeon for every normal dungeon in the game? There is the illusory labyrinth. Oh yeah, so, that's true. Kind of, there is. Like, after you've, after a certain point in the game, like I think after you open the last dungeon, there's an area in each of the first four dungeons that's that are kind of like elementally themed. And you can go in there and play, I think, 20 floors of each. And there's like a save midway through, and it's, sort of, and it's sort of like... The enemies in there are fairly difficult. Those are randomly generated too, aren't they? Or are they I not? don't know. I think I they are, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm digging this can, though. Yeah. Oh, look, when you, when you went to talk to those people, it shows up in the camera. Let's see. Oh. Oh! oh. I didn't realize that. That's oh, that's a neat little feature. Lady yeah. Fiona. <laughs> oh, Claude, how handsome he is when he pushes his glasses up. Hands are on them, too. <laughs> nice. That's actually kind of neat. I did not realize yeah, that that was, was part that of the uh, the widget there. Oh. There she is. <laughs> now you get the full cap on. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's got the hippie glasses going, and I want to see, I wanna see the... Uh, Come on, pan up to the top little, of her hat so you can see the little ghost. The little Halloween ghost on her hat. She is the hippest witch of them all. <laughs> I really want to see somebody cosplay Ra Lyra. That's like my challenge for somebody <laughs> who really has you. like an immense <laughs> amount of materials on hand because you will need them. Yeah, if you have like <laughs> five old carpets, you can cosplay this character. <laughs> Yeah, I, this would be a really hard costume to make, but man, would it be awesome. If I talk to her. Oh, yes, this is, uh... Oh, there's a little ghost on top of her hat. You can kind of see it, but yeah, not too not too well, unless it's uh, up close in a cutscene. Now, the cool thing about this game is, like, it does, it does take place in a fantasy world where, as far as we know, all the islands and continents float in the sky. 
And we've got sort of a decent level of technology with all these cool airplanes, cars, and trucks. But it's never quite nails down what the exact technology level is. Ah, uh, yes, there's our uh, our cowgirl character there. Odessa. She is. She uh, would punch a man just to watch him get punched. <laughs> she. <laughs> she is also one of the playable characters. Uh, that you do get to play as at uh, at one point in the game. Uh, I believe she throws boomerangs, right? She does throw a giant boomerang, and she sometimes she'll just wail and stuff with her fists. As you do. Where's old man Gashler? Yeah, um, is Pipiro in this game? Yes, we actually just passed uh, Paco and Pipiro at the airstrip. That's right. Puckle and Pipiro, the main characters from the first Zwei, are in this game in cameo roles. Yes, this is this is technically Zwei 2, by the way, but uh, you don't need to have played Zwei 1 yeah. in order to understand it. They, I mean, they take place on different continents with different cast of characters. Yeah. You just get cameo appearances by Puckle and Pipiro. It's sort of like, Pipito. you know, if you play an Ease game, you can play it standalone, but if you play other Ease games, you're, you think, oh, that is where this slots into this world. Yeah, basically. That's a, a very good way of putting it. Um, and in fact, this is even more standalone than most East games since it doesn't even have the same protagonist yeah. um, as the other Tsui title. Yeah. One plus three, the math thing is showing a problem I could solve. Woo! <laughs> okay, back to you, Tom. <laughs> Seven is it? You dropped my combo again. For now, that's why, with the two eyes, it's Elbert Insurrection. Yeah, yes. that's why, that's, that's why two, or it's why I, I, you see? Yeah. Yes. See that, what we did there? So witty of us, you know. <laughs> so clever. But yeah, that's also, Elbert Insurrection does pretty much describe the plot in yeah. a lot of ways, so I think, I think that worked pretty well. But yeah, this is a series that I wish continued beyond just two games, because it's really good stuff. If we sell enough copies, maybe Falcom will be like, Dude, we have to make Zwei 3, and yeah. they'll be like, yeah! And like, <laughs> rip up a piece of paper just so I can throw it over my head to watch it rain down. <laughs> be awesome. I would definitely love to play more Zwei games. I would work on a Zwei 3 in a heartbeat. Yep. <laughs> oh crap, it's a cutscene. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully this isn't, isn't a spoiler. Well, I can turn it off. <laughs> oh, okay. They're just working on his airplane. Yeah. That's been a, a thing that's been uh, happening throughout the game at this point, because, yeah, yeah, his airplane did crash and get split in two, basically. Yeah. So, it needed a lot of work. <laughs> Gashler has some good lines. <laughs> we found a bunch of stuff already Star. patched Star. up. Star. <laughs> I mean, come on, when I see it, I gotta, I gotta voice act. It's masterful acting right here. That's why we pay other people to do it. <laughs> It kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have compared Gashler to Final Fantasy IV Sid many times. Yeah, that's a very fair comparison. He's got the weird glasses, he's got the beard, he doesn't like wearing shirts. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's, he's liking that. I do like the enormous zipper. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. I didn't know that was a zipper for a That's long totally time. a <laughs> zipper. <laughs> like, what is it zipping? I think it's just decorative. <laughs> We need to get him on the on the. Oh yeah. Get him on the screen. Get him on the screen. Old man Gashler, he wear he don't wear a shirt to work because he he owns a shop and no one can tell him otherwise. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't wear. <coughs> <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, I love the character designs in this game. They're so over the top, but they're great. And yeah, this has everything you could you could really want as far as like '90s anime tropes too. Yeah. I mean, it's got like the ninja village. It's got a hot spring scene. Of course, it's got a hot spring scene. Um, you know, it's got uh, it's got the moon. You can go to the moon. Yeah, 
as you do. As you do. <laughs> also a Final Fantasy IV throwback. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, method by which you get to the moon is kind of amazing, too. There's no ships involved, I'll just say no, that. No whales that fly yeah. into the moon. <laughs> I don't know if he's using a jumpsuit as a scarf, but really, like, he might be. <laughs> I think he is. That, that's actually possible. <laughs> I mean... Good old Gashler. No one's going to tell him how to dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You ain't my mother. <laughs> I'm dressed myself. There's dude, the, the cast that weird in the smile game. of his makes him look like that dude from that band in the Muppets. What? I don't know oh. if I. Oh my god, what's his name? Oh yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, Ragnar's plane is looking in much better condition than it was at the start of the game. Yeah, yep, sure is. He nose dive into this hill. Ten divided by five, Tom, quick. Ah. Oh shit, another multiplication table. <laughs> hey, uh, I should know this one. Nope. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> the power of majoring in English. Yeah. <laughs> I can do some math, but only some. Wrong, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't harm you, it okay. just doesn't add to your combo. It would drop your combo if you weren't didn't have anything else going on there. Yeah. So. Uh, so, yeah. Make sure to remind me not to turn that widget on because I'm awful in that. Well, I mean, if you just leave it there, it doesn't <laughs> hurt anything. No, it will just make me feel bad in the corner <laughs> taunting me, like Well, I mean, I have the the description for this item says a mathematical puzzle game in which correct answer is boost your combo counter. Finally a reason to get good at math. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I like some of these widget descriptions. A device that measures your current weight. Discover the dark secret of how fatty RPG food really is. <laughs> the, the puzzle that involves, uh, like, you know, weighing yourself, too, is pretty amazing because, like, you just kind of just keep eating food. And I think your model actually gets bigger, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so you can actually observe your the character models getting fat. <laughs> but you have to eat a lot of food for it to happen, but yeah. it actually does happen. And I don't know where to put the, the webcam on this. Whoops. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's something on every part of the screen. <laughs> That's the widgets for you. I, I'm, adi <laughs> I'm adding enough visual clutter that we're going to look like the cover of Shonen Jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and you have, like, the little journal on the upper left. Yeah, I just added that widget. This basically just types out for you the same thing that you would see if you went to like the basic oh well, let's see what screen yeah the navi screen oh okay and basically there's a, something at the bottom of the navi screen that changes based on where you are in the game to kind of like prompt you like here's what i was doing and this is what i would do next if i was ragna which you are <laughs> also, yes, we are we we have changed the name uh, from Irbard to Ilvar. Yes, we originally got, in the original game it was it was Irbard, and I was like, ha ha ha, no. <laughs> yeah, I, the L R thing is pretty well known, but for those who don't know, there's also a B V thing in Japanese, where B and V are basically the same letter, so. Irbard and Ilvard are pretty much the same thing in yeah. Japanese. It's just Ilvard sounds like an actual place I name. Irubado. Whereas Irbard sounds like, you know, a bard with big ears. <laughs> also, I love the, like, yeah, I want, the I want cubby to take hole us in here the carrot. Because, like, these are, like, people's fields in the town of Roalta where they grow carrots that are as big as your body. <laughs> <laughs> One carrot is so big, someone made, like, a little carrot house. <laughs> yep. Why? I don't know, but that's the kind of games why it is. Because they didn't care at all. Oh. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> God damn it, Tom. Why do I bite you? <laughs> <laughs> if there's any game for puns like that, it's Spy. This <laughs> Chief Wizen. I believe you trade something to him at one point for a karaoke microphone. The karaoke Sounds about house right. is where they got hungry while farming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh yeah, there's also uh, 
an item you can equip in this game that allows you to talk to animals. I and, don't have it at the same, okay. unfortunately, but... But yeah, every every animal in the game does actually have, like, unique dialogue if you have that item equipped. You I have it some of my old saves, actually, but yeah. There, if you equip that accessory, you can just go up to any animal that has a name tag, like this cow, and, like, instead of, like, she nothing... Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of nothing, they will actually say words to you. And some of them... There are some animals that have a lot to say. Yep. <laughs> there sure are. And if you search hard, you will find Mr. Tittles. I guess if we wanted to show something else, and I know how much you love snowboarding. You should show them some snowboarding. All right. <laughs> I love this snowboarding game, I said. Totally not coerced at all into saying that. <laughs> also, you then get to see the ninja village. That's a secret. <laughs> they don't really exist. That's true. They look like the ninjas from Shinobu Den. <laughs> I think Except, be... like, this dude who lives in the ninja village and may be a ninja, but he wears, like, a giant bear pelt and carries an axe. <laughs> <laughs> As ninja do. I love that bear pelt, though. That is like, pretty awesome. Like the dumbest looking bear. It's also got, like, the target logo on it. <laughs> Yasaku. His woodsmanly ways. He's like, I don't need stealth. I have an axe, a giant bear pelt, and, like, ten pounds of body hair. <laughs> Born ready, baby. Yeah. What? The capo. Oh, the capo. It's a capo. Yep. Okay. All right. You, you <laughs> use your you use your glide gear to go down these mountain courses, and your goal is to break as many pots as you can, or Haniwa statues. And <coughs> also attempt to control this. <laughs> because it's that's the challenge, is that it controls weird. <laughs> yep, it is it is very snowboard esque in that sense. I've never been good at snowboarding. I've never attempted to snowboard because I value my life. I have totally attempted to snowboard and regretted it immensely. As you can see, I'm a complete expert at this. <laughs> it is pretty video tough. games. <laughs> Nineteen out of twenty eight. What's pretty funny is if you get almost enough, sometimes they'll like pity you and be like, "Okay." It, yeah, you got if you it. fail enough times, he will reduce the amount you need. And I know this because that's how I got through all these courses and testing them. <laughs> but yeah, did anybody else have any? Uh... Any good questions? Anything you want yeah. to know? It's, uh... I mean, I, I feel like there's there's a lot to say about this game, but it's like I don't want to reveal too much. Yeah, I don't like, want to there, there, are, too there are much. things that I can't talk about because it would be like, oh no, there's like, that would be a spoiler. But yeah, this is... It is legitimately one of my favorite Falcom games, and I think it is. It was a very. It's been a very fun project to work on. Yeah, I think anybody, anybody who likes good action RPGs or likes like a good tongue-in-cheek fun time kind of thing, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this game. If you're a fan of the East series, you're gonna like this game. I'm on my oh. way to beating my record of last time by getting a lesser amount. Of <laughs> It ended in the same number as the f like amount you wanted. Yes. Same digit. <laughs> I'm full of hate. Yeah, sorry if our stream isn't super stable. Our internet's been fighting us generally all the time. That has been a thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's been a, sort of an ongoing thing lately. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah one thing is, uh, I wrote, I, <coughs> I just had a blog go up this morning that I wrote about the uh, game's localization that you can read on our Tumblr if you would like to read more about writing Sly. Yes, it is one of the longer blogs uh, we've posted, I think, and I, I, I appreciate the amount of detail that Nick went into with it, so highly my recommend long, it. My long-windedness. I can appreciate long-windedness. That's, That's right. I'm Mr. Long-Winded. And it has one of the best open paragraphs ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is, that is an excellent intro that you had. Damn, Nick, that's not bad. Well, we might... Right soon. Mm. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the blog, on my screen, we can for now. Yeah, yeah, and we, we uh, definitely stick around. Like, don't be like, oh, they're done showing it. I'm going to yeah. close this right now because we have, so we, we have, have a, an announcement. A we have surprise. a surprise. Yeah. If you stuck around. And it's, a, it's pretty good stuff for sure. Yeah. You guys will be the first to, to, to find out about this, so it'll be good stuff. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, what? We have a visitor. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, I can feel the air conditioning. That's nice. Oh. Whoa. Who is this? Oh. <laughs> well. Jeepers, pink frog. <laughs> Did you have you come with an RPG quest? That's what I thought. <laughs> so, a song for us? he wants to sing us a song. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I will not be, um... Who, who was that? I don't... That was a strange voice coming out of that frog's, like, rear end there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so when we play this, you will not be hearing it, unfortunately. Oh. Unless we unplug the... Oh, I can do that. It's gonna be loud. No, I don't think, I don't think that's why it's actually... Oh, that's why it's playing. Whoops. <laughs> Should we just... Well, I guess we can't really... Well, we can exit out at Swy. Yeah, we sure can. <laughs> Hold on, frog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's playing here, I see. Okay. So, are you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay. Starting the music. Theoretically. Well, it's online. You can't hear it. Nope. Yeah, I mean, it's pointless. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh. Try that. <laughs> I think I think we've already spoiled we the surprise though. Anyway. Um, well. No, it's not. It's not on stream. Oh, okay. If anybody has questions about the frog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is actually. Uh, it's called a karomin. It's a. <laughs> karo is uh, the the Japanese word for ribbit, and so it's a, a karo theremin. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've we've been wanting to use it on the stream for a while now. <laughs> so we we found an excuse. Um. <laughs> So, do we want to try pulling it up on here? Yeah. Dude, you do you. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let me know when you have it. Sorry. I gotta actually get to, like, yeah. internet <laughs> something. In the meantime, if Chairman wants to send a, sing us another song. Frog, do you like sharing? <laughs> <laughs> what about file sharing? How about shareware from disreputable sites? <laughs> ah, okay. I don't even know how to access anything on here, so this is not going to work, I don't think. Frog, what are your thoughts 
thoughts on the Ilbert economy? <laughs> <laughs> Frog Fractions game. 3 Game of the Year, right? <laughs> nice to you. Daily Double. <laughs> nope. Oh, wait, Internet Explorer, there we go. What? That'll work. That will not work. <laughs> why, why won't it? Because it's Internet Explorer. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it'll... <laughs> It'll get the job done. <laughs> Will you it? You could go to standby, but I just, I'm amused. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no. Ask me later. What are you doing? <laughs> there you go. Do, 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 do. Uh. By the way, the, in case what? people were wondering, this pink frog is not our announcement. <laughs> no. No, it is not. It's like... I know there's some question marks. Explorer, you see yeah, our exciting yeah. new Exceed Children's show with Pinky <laughs> the Frog. Here we go. Okay. And you me ready? Me is a sock puppet of oh, myself. The headphones are out, so let's give this a try. This should work. America's Got Talent. <laughs> That's pretty good, I'm actually. Really That's you, Rod. That's way better than I was able to pull off. Oh wow, you even got the different voices. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we'll pay you in crocane. <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to uh, our frog operator, Ryan. <laughs> One of his many skills. <laughs> so, yes, um, I guess we should Yo, just... That, Ryan just learned that? Like while we were streaming. Yeah, he yeah. Did an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Time well spent from his paycheck. <laughs> so uh, I can just fire up the the game, right? Yeah, go yeah. for it. All but right. Yes, as many of you guessed, uh, E7 <laughs> is coming to PC. Yay! Yep. Not only is it coming to PC, but we got something to show you. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we actually have it playable already, and this is this is not uh, you know this is not like the Chinese port that existed previously or anything. This is a brand new contracted PC port of E7. Okay, um, so let me know when you're ready. It is up. Okay. It's the, uh, it'll be the second uh, Do you save file. Second save file? Mm -hmm. Oh, I should probably put the thing back in, huh? Yeah. Sorry, we have a weird setup here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have echo in the uh, microphone there. So... So, that, one, yeah. that one. Okay, cool. Woo! Uh, did you want to try playing, or do you want no, to? No, just, just go. Okay. I mean, give it to me when the when the when the violence okay. happens. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. There's a. Wow. I love I love the the dodge roll. And what is? Yeah. I'm I'm not used to our current uh, control control scheme, scheme uh, here. What is the switch? Okay, that's switch. Yeah. L2 and R2. But okay. not the Nintendo Switch, unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's all pretty nice. Uh, get the oh, mouse cursor out of the way there. Yeah. <laughs> yep, um, yeah, I mean, it is it is a PSP game, naturally, um, but it is 60 FPS, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been up quite nicely, I think. Uh, it's still, you can still tell that the textures were developed for a lower resolution screen, but they look really clean 
Um, it's very crisp and colorful. Yeah, um, so as you may or may not know, this is a public stream, so if you guys want to post about stuff. Yeah, please, this is this is technically our announcement of the game. We're just not officially announcing it anywhere but this stream yeah, this until... Yeah, uh, for, for everyone that tuned in. Yep. Which is why we were like, you don't want to miss it! <laughs> Come join us! No, this is not based on the first time. Yep, no, this is a, a brand new port. Yep. Original. Get! Very good. That's right. Be doggy and hit something with your fist. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes, yeah, announced by Pink Frog. That's true. Screenshot for the tornado for the button. Yeah, you can take screenshot of the screen. Beat these small shrews with your fist, doggy. The manly fists of justice! Oh, yeah. Gotta use Adolf for that, though. Oh. Now you can go back to our dog, get screenshots there. Why is frog in that sense? Summer. Yep. Everything is summer. <laughs> yes. I believe we have this, that's why, and this deal. Yep. All of which are uh, in pretty good shape, too, and looking nice. I've been QAing uh, Cold Steel PC, and it's looking fantastic. Falcom on PC. Magnifico. Yep. Yeah, we got some <laughs> some Falcom goodness for you guys. Um, I'm, I'm still holding it to charge. I mean, that is how the game was designed. See, I think there's a yeah, Titano over here. Let's uh, get wrecked by it. <laughs> I died. Hopefully not. I died for stupid reasons once this stream. You should too. Oh, also, I mean, I don't know how much we want to say about this, but uh, I, uh, I do know that we. Uh, have been looking over the uh, localization as well, and we have made some uh, adjustments to it. So uh, hopefully it should be an even smoother experience for people than the original PSP version was as well. Yeah, the painting drive asks, has it been nostalgic to revisit this text? Comment? It definitely has, since this was my Probably very the first project. guy is Chris. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's the role he filled here as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah, it, it was. This was the very first game that I worked on. Like, this is the game I was sort of hired to work on, and in fact, uh, Ken gave me text to work on before I officially started, which is just sort of how Exceed rolls. <laughs> um, but yeah, it. Uh, this was uh, definitely a uh, project where I was sort of just getting my feet wet as an editor, and uh, there are a lot of things that I would have done a lot differently if I were editing it now and I've had a chance to go back and do a lot of those things differently, so it has been sort of re-edited to an extent, and uh, should be a much cleaner script than before. So hopefully you guys will have a very nice time playing it, as the game is just as fun as ever. Dinosaur Puncher 7. Indeed. My favorite. <laughs> I'm glad all of you were here for this. Yes. We're gonna stream a little longer. With uh, the E stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Well, Tom, I guess you'll cross that bridge when you come to it. <laughs> <laughs> sure <Okay>. will. <laughs> <laughs> what's, oh, uh, what am I, oh, whoa, what is going on there? They're just choosing an emoji. Yeah. Kelly was attempting to send us a gun emoji. Oh, okay. I think one of my favorite early Dogi lines is coming up here. Isn't this where he's like, open space, nice. <laughs> it's like, it's a weird line, but I, <laughs> I just love that line, I don't know why. It's like he's evaluating real estate. <laughs> it's always been my favorite early line of his. Of course you want to give it a closer look, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so sorry about the frame right. on the internet. Oh yeah, so the game is super smooth yeah. on this screen, but yeah, I can kind of see on the stream it's Believe uh, it. not as much. <laughs> but yeah, I, I swear to you, it's smooth in 60 FPS right now, and butter, it's butter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, our internet is definitely not the greatest right now, so apologies for uh, any non-smoothness you are seeing. That's what Six. happens when you touch random things. <laughs> Come on, you should know better right now. You've been through this enough times. <laughs> That's what happens to me when I walk out of Taco Bell and forget to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shouldst visit my brethren. I think that's that's the voice we should go for with that. It's just gonna be easier than the Tom Dub version. <laughs> Man, I, I like how OBS is like totally lying to me. It's like dropped frames zero. It's like, no. <laughs> lies, all lies. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> what is that rumbling? I bet it's a boss. Yup, it sure is. It's another dinosaur for you to punch. <laughs> yup. Dinosaur puncher seven. <laughs> Devil dinosaur puncher. Also, I don't know how many of you have been following the Cold Steel PC release news, but um, we've been making custom achievement art for that one. We also have some of that for East 7. That's right, and it looks pretty sweet. It really does. But do this at all! Like, do this tang! There. Oh. I guess two heads are better than one. Oops. Well, I'm not used to this particular control scheme, but of course the controls are modifiable. I'm kind of getting killed there, that's probably not good. Don't he die? Crap. Oh my god, you killed Dogie! I killed Dogie! Do now how are you going to punch this dinosaur? <laughs> I'm going to have to whack it with a sword, I guess. He's ping-ponging around the room, and you're just over there letting Dogie die. Some bro you are. But, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. Damn it! Yeah, that's, what an excuse. <laughs> no, I was... I was. That's like in the arcades, like, oh no, my, my controller is broken. I no, I was totally forward. hitting L2 instead of L1. <laughs> use skills and it just kept <laughs> switching like characters instead of using skills. It's like damn it. Oh hey. Oh no ah, here. <laughs> we both <You> die <laughs> <laughs> What is the setup? Um you'll find out. <laughs> Alright. If you want to use a skill with uh, L2 and R2 switch characters and uh, hold L1 and O to use your skill with what? each either character. And we're done. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we gotta wrap up this thing. Well, you can tell that I'm not doing this. <laughs> hey, you're still technically doing as well as I do. <laughs> 13 HP, the luckiest of numbers. Alright. Down to Doogie. Time to carry, Doogie. You don't need that at all, dude. Remember L1 and O to use your special it's skill. Not I'm so sorry. I don't need any strong techniques. I've got fists. <laughs> Pretty sure you need some strong techniques. Rubbish. What? Killed what was that? by bubbles. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> Just like in the bath. <laughs> All right, well, let's end the stream. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. we suck. <laughs> Extreme gamers, but you got to see a little bit of it in action. So now, you, now you can see through a choppy internet stream just how smooth and awesome this game looks. <laughs> yeah, but no. Uh, Sixty <laughs> FPS game on a twenty FPS stream. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, this I I it ported over really nicely, and uh, I'm pretty impressed at how smooth it is. Yeah. E7, currently the furthest in the canonical storyline. That's right. <laughs> the timeline. Yeah, it is technically because uh, East 8 actually takes place well before, um, like earlier in the timeline, so this is the latest entry. But what people really want to know is, do they shipwreck at the start of this game? <laughs> no, they actually make it on a fully intact boat and in fact comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. your history with both. Yeah. It's like, I'm only going to go with you on land journey. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Now, there's a lot of boats sailing, and somehow none of them wreck in this game. It's kind of impressive. I they take the boat out to the island. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, thank you guys for joining us. No, thank you for coming, everyone. Yep. Yeah. So, obviously, it's why Alvern Insurrection coming out in summer. Yeah. E7 yep. also coming out summer. Trails of Cold Steel also coming out summer. <laughs> Summer of Summer Falcom. Of Falcom. <laughs> yeah. The Falcom before the storm. That's right. <laughs> Jazz hands. So we'll see you next time on the next E3 edition stream, right? Yep. PBS. Oh, man. PBS Kids. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Public guys. broadcasting. <laughs>